civil rights leaders and supporters of Measure 114 took their voices to Dawson Park Thursday morning as we are less than a week away from the election. A recent poll put out by Nelson Research, a public opinion research firm based in Salem, asked 577 likely Oregon voters their thoughts on Measure 114. 46% of them said that they support the measure, with 49% opposing it. 4.5% of people were still undecided. But retired director of Portland's Office of Youth Violence Intervention, Antoinette Edwards, has been fighting for a measure just like this one for her entire life. I've watched too many young people lose their lives and cross the yellow tape lines. In fact, I bring young people with me every time I speak to be reminded of why we must do something different. We have to. To buy a gun in Oregon, Measure 114 would require a permit issued by police, require photo ID, fingerprints, firearm training, and background checks and a fee. It would also ban magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition. Something Malay Ramos strongly supports as she lost her brother, Deshaun Mays, last year to gun violence in downtown Portland. I was just 19 and I was there the whole time holding him whole time while he was bleeding out, whole time while no one came for help. I lived the reality. But the Oregon Association of Sheriffs, along with various hunting and shooting groups, all oppose the measure, saying it will not prevent violent crimes or mass shootings because criminals won't comply with it. Only law-abiding gun owners would be restricted. And we recognize that we must address firearm violence. But Measure 114 is just not the answer. Nowhere in 114 has anybody said that we're coming after your Second Amendment right. Mm. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with people being responsible about with the guns that they have and not using them against each other.